good. <clears throat> Defense really seemed to be sharp for, for both teams, or at least the, the activity level and the hands yeah. in, in spaces. What did you see out there? Just moving our hands, getting to the right spots. <clears throat> I think we, we we still learn each other. Obviously, third day of camp, uh, trying to figure everything out, but I thought we did a good job of uh, you know, translating what we did in practice here tonight. What did you think of the way that uh, Sabonis played tonight with you guys? Great. Uh, that's a man. He's a physical man. He, he knows how to play the game. Uh, he knows how to pick his spots. And you know, as, you, as you can see, he, he, can, he can play. So there was one play coming down this way where he kind of threw it over your head, but you smiled and you went back and you kind of dapped him up. I mean, yeah. What happened on that play? Uh, it was my fault. I just uh, I saw him, but I, did not, I, didn't, I didn't react right enough, I uh, mean, quick enough. So uh, we, we get that chemistry. You know, the more and more we keep playing with each other, we're trying to figure things out. What makes uh, Ronnie Price tough defense? Well, getting, uh, you know, helping each other out on the floor and you know, just gaining that trust from each other. Uh, apart from like all the fouls and slapping this, it just comes to fatigue and get back in shape. But I think we look good for the most part. Uh, and, you know, heading on the right track and becoming one of the top defensive teams in the league. How do you think Sabonis uh, fit into to that starting unit with the rest of the team? He's fitting pretty good. He played well for us tonight. Uh, knows the game very well, knows where to be on the court, and he's getting familiar with everybody, chemistry-wise, on and off the court. So uh, he's going to be a big part for us this year. And, uh, you know, looking forward to his part. Andre, you look really comfortable with the ball in your hands. Do you feel like that's a big improvement you made in the offseason? Definitely. Um, and that's what they're encouraging me to do, kind of, you know, when I get a rebound, just push the break uh, and kind of, you know, play at a more up-tempo pace instead of looking for Russ all the time to push it. Um, so, you know, we want to play at a higher pace, you know, we just get off the board and everybody just take off running. You know, just look for the open man and just playing together. That's what we ultimately want to do. You know, we're all interchangeable parts and, you know, that's what makes the team hard to stop. And, you know, that's what we're Steven Adams said, you don't shy away from contact. You're, you're a young big guy that, you know, really likes contact and that's pretty rare. What's it been like in practice, you know, banging up against him and Ennis Cantor and those guys? It's been pretty tough, not gonna <laughs> lie. Uh, they're really strong dudes, and, and plus, they know all these tricks and everything. They've, they've been in the league many years, so I'm just a rookie, so I'm just trying to learn everything I can from them uh, so that I can use it to my advantage. So you gave credit to the guys around you tonight. Um, those guys around you were all starters. They're guys who started in their career, most of their career. Do you feel like you're on the same level there? You can hang with those starters? Uh, I don't know. I'm just a rookie. Uh, I was just lucky enough uh, to 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 start the game today, and I tried my best. Um, just to uh, be active and help help the team out any way I can. Speaking of strong and physical.